Hey there guys, welcome back to the CEO Life today. My name is Wes Pico as usual, and today we're talking about my top favorite Playboy men's fragrances. A lot of you guys definitely I know have passed on the Playboy uh, fragrance line. You probably passed on the house, you think, hey, these are made for teens, these are made for really young adults, they're very, very cheap, you know, you can pick these up for seven, eight dollars a bottle. Why would I wanna buy these? Well, there's some incredible hidden gems in these guys. Watch this video because I have four really great suggestions that I think you're gonna love. Now I have two quick suggestions here from the female side of stuff from Playboy that are really great for gifts, um, really great if you're a girl out there, you wanna smell nice, you want something that's cheap, that smells great, check this stuff out. So first off we got Play It Lovely, I've done a full review on this stuff, this is my painted bottle, painted this for one of my girlfriends, really do enjoy this. Uh, what's in this? This is a very orchid and blackberry kind of berry dominant scent. Uh, very similar to One Direction Our Moment, if you've smelt that, one of my personal favorites um, for girls, I love that stuff. This stuff is incredible though, go pick it up. Very fresh, very fruity, and just so seductive. Another really great one is Queen of the Game. I don't have the bottle anymore, but this one smells like black opium. However, it is a more modern and less dark take on it. It's kind of like the daytime version of black opium. I find black opium is very much a nighttime scent, uh, very dark, very heavy, whereas Queen of the Game has a similar scent profile to that. However, it's more of a summery, fresh kind of version of that. Really do enjoy that though, guys, so go check those out. Now let's get into today's video. Last thing I gotta address too. This is a viewer suggested video, uh, so if you guys have any suggestions for future videos, let me know below. I do take your comments to heart, guys. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for watching, and let's get into today's video. All right, guys, so one little quick housekeeping note. Just wanna give a massive shout out to Rising Phoenix Martial Arts. It's this hoodie I'm wearing today. I did their uh, apparel design and kind of logo design for them. So I got one of their apparels. Uh, got some cool lettering here. Here's the back looks, got this nice Phoenix. Looks pretty cool though, I like it, so I just want to shout them out. Anyways, so the first fragrance from Playboy Men's uh, that I really do love, this is Playboy VIP. So VIP, it has this kind of golden color to the actual liquid that's inside the bottle. This stuff smells like pure gold, guys, I love this. What's in this? Massive hit of white chocolate and rum. That's literally all you get from this. Very, very boozy and kind of chocolatey, but not like a, a sweet chocolate. It's kind of just the essence of that. Very, very nice though, guys. Really do enjoy this stuff. Playboy VIP for men. Go pick it up. This stuff lasts an incredibly long time. Probably out of all of the Playboy line, this lasts the longest from their men's side. Really do enjoy this. So Playboy VIP, go track it down. It's like $8 a bottle. Just go get it if you like sweet fragrances. Next up on the list, guys, another Playboy. This is VIP as well, but this is the Platinum Edition. So the Platinum Edition here, I've done a full video on this. I, at the time, I didn't know what scent this smelled like. I figured it out. It is Axe Dark Temptation, the one in the nice little sprayer. I'm not a huge fan of that fragrance. I do enjoy that. I don't wear that though. Um, however, this stuff is kind of like the classy version of that. The Axe version I find is very synthetic, very cheap smelling. This is the cologne version of that, guys. This is incredible. Well worth the money. If you guys can track down a bottle of this, just go pick it up. It's just so nice. It's just this lovely, just smells like Dark Temptation. <sighs> so good, when you first spray this, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, doesn't smell that close to it, but when this starts to dry down, that chocolate note comes out, gets very, very sweet, very nice. But yeah, it's pretty much the masculine take, uh, like a little bit more of a masculine edge than Dark Temptation, and a lot classier, way less synthetic. This stuff smells very natural, really do enjoy this. Go check that out, that's VIP Platinum Edition. Next up guys, one of my personal favorites, we got Playboy New York. Playboy New York, I love this stuff. It's nice purple kind of color in here. What does this stuff smell like? It's similar to, Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce. That's kind of the best comparison I could give you guys uh, if you've never smelt this. But it's just a very fresh, kind of apple-y, vanilla-y, vinyl kind of scent. There's a vinyl note in this. Don't know if that's a fantasy note. Don't know if it's the actual scent of vinyl. But yeah, guys, this is really great stuff. It smells incredible. This stuff lasts a long time. Uh, but yeah, the biggest comparison I could say is uh, to either like Mont Blanc Legend or Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce. One other thing too is a caveat. When I first got my sampler of Millicene Imperial from Creed, I found these smelt very similar. I'm gonna have to do another kind of smelling of that, but that's just one thing to keep in mind. If you do like Millicene Imperial, pretty sure you'll like this because they're kind of in the same vein of fragrances. So go check that out. That's Playboy New York. Again, this is like $8, guys. Just go pick these up. Go pick them all up. Last on the list, guys, we got two bottles here. We got Playboy Malibu and Playboy Malibu. So this one over here is the older version of Playboy Malibu. Um, you can see by the wrapper here how this looks, how it's all black, except for the little bunny over here, and then that bunny itself is see-through. On the newer versions of it, you got this kind of street design here. 
um, and the blue bunny that's actually filled with blue coloring. The liquid inside of these is a little bit different color too. It's a little hard to tell on video, but I'll get a close up of this to throw in for you guys so you can see the difference. There's a major difference in the fragrances that are in both of these guys. If you can track down a vintage bottle, it is so worth it. I'd pay anywhere up to probably 40 or 50 bucks for this. It's incredible. It's this musky kind of citrus scent. Very, very heavy in citrus, very fresh, very clean, kind of fresh out of the shower almost. However, it has this just wonderful musk that it kind of dries down in. And Malibu is just so incredible, guys. I love this stuff. Um, as well, the newer version of it, it is nice. Don't get me wrong, it's not a horrible fragrance. It's just way more synthetic. Very, very alcohol -y. You get this massive alcohol note. Um, I think they toned down the fragrance oils that are in it. But yeah, anything that's kind of from around 2012, you can check the batch because on these 2012 and uh, earlier in the year, really good stuff. Uh, the later stuff that's newer, not that great. But yeah, it's, it's just a little too synthetic for me, guys. The newer stuff also doesn't last a long time. That's the biggest thing I notice. And again, that citrus note is just kicked up, but it's kind of too much. It kind of ruins the fragrance, which is why I tracked down this <laughs> original model. This took me about buying four or five of these guys to finally get a vintage one. But yeah, the vintage one, really, really good, guys. Go check that out. So that's Playboy Malibu. Both of them are great choices, but go for the vintage. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any suggestions for future videos, let me know below. Always love hearing from you guys. Recently hit 400 sub subscribers, so you know, thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. I love doing this. Got some cool videos coming out soon um, regarding Alexandria and also to some homage videos and um, a couple other different houses that are coming out. So if you guys have any suggestions, let me know below. I'm going to be doing a fragrance kind of buy pretty soon here. So let me know if you guys want me to pick up anything in review. Talk to you guys soon and take care.